the dreaded black square in projection mapping, kind of the bane of our existence. So uh, if, if you've seen this scenario happen where you get a, a really cool video from somewhere like Atmos Effects, Spectral Illusions, uh, and you drag it onto your canvas, then you just get this big black square around it. Now it's not, it's not knocking uh, anybody in particular. Uh, these are amazing videos and, and they're, they're great if you're just shining them into a window, non illusion material, uh, some small scenes. Uh, in projection mapping, it can be a challenge though because of this, this black background. And usually you can't simply mask it out because the, the subject is, is moving. So there's a lot of different ways to, to deal with that to remove the, the background. Uh, but thanks to Telwin of projectionmappingacademy.com, uh, he just showed me another cool way of doing it. And this will be particularly useful if you're using like the Luxedo software. Uh, they do have some built-in capability to remove backgrounds, but uh, this, this tool that I found is, is using artificial intelligence to, to do it for us, and it does a really good job. So thanks, Telwin, for, for cluing me in on this. And um, I'm excited, but I'm also a little bummed because I just spent $300 on the full professional version of DaVinci to remove backgrounds from videos. And this tool can do it for free and does a better job of it. So that's a bummer. <laughs> so, okay, so if, you, if you're getting that big black square in, in your Luxedo project or whatever software you're using, this is one of the more effective ways of removing background for videos. And so this, this website is runwayml.com. And that's for machine learning, which is what it, it's using to, to do this. And so if you, you go in there, they do have a premium version, but you can do a lot of what you want with the free one. Uh, you'll come in here and create a, a new project and choose green screen. And you can see I've been playing with some already, been grabbing some Mind Flayer clips from Stranger Things. Uh, I can put this Atmos Effects project in here though. We'll upload it. Okay, once that's uploaded, you can drag it down here to get started. And you can find a spot in the video where you've got the subject that you want to keep uh, completely in the foreground. And then you can just start clicking to start. I'll put one dot right in the center of his torso. And the machine learning did a pretty good job already on, on filling them in. Uh, there's a couple spots like his leg that I'll click on again. And there you go, two clicks, and that had one. There's a spot under his arm that I don't want, so I can click exclude over here, and I click on that spot. And voila, that's working pretty good. Let's hit preview and see how it looks. A couple clicks, and we have a video of him with, uh, with the background removed. And then you can come in here and you can kind of fine tune it. There was a couple spots as he's walking off that I noticed weren't working correctly. So if we, like right there, we're missing his back. So I'll go back to include and click on that. And I can exclude some of this, these trailing green screen sections. Oh, and I, I just noticed that I'm not getting a suitcase. So let's click on a suitcase too. And there you go. You can, you can feather it a little bit too. Um, probably don't need to do that too much. Uh, but then you'll click on done masking and we'll see how it looks. And this is one of the benefits of using this over DaVinci uh, that I found. DaVinci is having a hard time at, with the fine tuning of, of the mask after the fact. This one, I haven't had any trouble with it. I can just go in and, and add additional points or exclusions and it, it seems to work a lot better, much faster. So let's see how it did. Uh, without the fine tuning though, let's just see how it did. I'll, I'll hit preview and see how good of a job it did. Couple spots in there I might fine tune, but for just a few clicks, that's working surprisingly well. This is awesome. Just like that. And uh, with the free version, you can export it to 1280 by 720 and then export it for free. And, and that works just fine. So if you need to get rid of the dreaded black background, 
quick and easy way to do it.